Authorities followed information from crime intelligence, which led them to this house, which allegedly belongs to a parolee. They say three cars had been idling after 4 a.m. this morning, which were allegedly going to be used in crime. Another is inside the yard. Neighbours say the sound of gunfire was deafening. So apparently, this neighbor says they just heard gunshots ringing and they were asking themselves what was going on. She says their sliding door was also damaged in the shootout. She says it was shots after shots until they heard what was happening. When police arrive, these suspects are alleged to have opened fire. Those cars you see there, three of them were idling, were ready to roll. Uh, those cars you see, there is an ML inside, beautiful ML, besides that beautiful X5 you see. Uh, they were rolling when the guys came here uh, at about half past four uh, in the morning. And uh, these guys, they shot at the police. The police responded. They shot uh, and killed eight of those guys here on the crime scene as we speak they are here uh, with six firearms and the four of those uh, were critically injured one has died in hospital which means there are nine uh, those that uh, uh, are fatally uh, shot here two are still critical one is in hospital we are are profiling them, but I can see safely say we have managed to find that one is from KZN. Sele says the men and women in blue are also out in huge numbers this busy Easter weekend. Also, two Somalian boys who were kidnapped for ransom and eight million rand demanded were also found in this area this morning. No monies are said to have been paid.